Good Wednesday morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe Vizurik visiting once again with meteorologist Chris Schrammick at Decision Weather and Atwood, as well as America's weather streaming channel. Chris, very nice the next few days across the high plains. Yeah, Joe, we're going to see temperatures uh, like we saw yesterday. It was the first day after the eclipse where we got into those middle 60s. There was no wind for a change yesterday, and that was a very nice day. Today's probably not going to be quite as nice. We've got this uh, low-pressure system that's now moving in the Arklatex region to the southeast. That'll keep showers and thunderstorms well to our south down there in the southern states. They could have some severe weather and heavy rainfall. And we're back here on the backside this morning with temperatures starting in the upper 30s in Goodland and Burlington. We got 43 in McCook and Oberlin and 47 in Oakley. The winds are from a northwesterly direction around 10 miles per hour. This afternoon, we'll have a cool front that'll back in behind that system as it pulls off over the southeast U.S. that will bring our winds to a north direction and pick up at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures will still top out in the middle 60s. And we'll see those those winds and clouds increase there in the afternoon as that front moves through. We could squeeze out a sprinkle or two or maybe a light shower that wets the pavement. That's kind of a different forecast than we had yesterday. But that is, you know, maybe a little bit of light stuff out there this afternoon. And then tomorrow, the sunshine comes back up. We'll still have north winds be lighter. So it should be another nice day up there in the upper 60s for highs. And then for Friday, we're heading into the middle 70s as high pressure builds in from the west. We are looking for middle 80s over the weekend. And that should break a record or two across the region for a record high. Those winds are also going to pick up from a south direction over the weekend. And that's going to elevate the fire concerns and the moderate drought that's been over the area in certain locations. We've got, since Christmas, we've had some moisture and it's been kind of hit and miss. But uh, it looks like Rollins, Decatur County, down there into Rooks County, parts of uh, northern Ellis County. That's kind of where the dry area is and areas that we could see, you know, some of the elevated fire concerns here over the weekend. As far as any rain's coming, it looks like we're going to wait till Monday and Tuesday. we got a chance for a low pressure that's going to move through. It looks like it's going to take a track right over the area again. That would keep the snow and rain to our north and west. And then the thunderstorm activity looks like it'll be developed there Monday evening, late afternoon over southwest Kansas. Could work as far north as Joaquini Hayes, Wichita, Pratt, kind of just to our east and south of the immediate area. And it does look like, you know, we might not get a lot of moisture with that until maybe some wrap around Tuesday morning. But it looks like we could be waiting for another system to get some beneficial rainfall across the tri-state area. Once again, that's meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weathered Atwood, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. For KYVZ Radio, I'm Joe Vizurek.